So these are our sagebrush and bitter brush cuttings. They've been growing here for about um, maybe four months now. Um, some of them have been started a little bit earlier than the others. Uh, one of our big goals was to propagate shrubs and spread them out about the ranch because um, there's been a lot of uh, bitter brush and sagebrush that's been depleted on this area. So what we wanted to do was take uh, these cuttings because they're at a longer stage of growth as opposed to just planting in from seed. It's really hard to get a lot of shrubs to go from seed because they need really strict moisture and temperature regimes and there's also a high predation rate on bitter brush, um, bitter brush seeds in the field. So what we did is we've been trying this for a long time to get it right and haven't had a whole lot of success until right now, just recently. Originally we took this rooting hormone called root tone, which has a really low percentage of, uh, of plant hormone in it that gets uh, plants to develop adventitious roots. And so we went out to just bitter brush stands over the summer and we would just collect little pieces of the end of shrubs and cut off a piece, dip it in this rooting hormone and put it in fertilizer and you just try to keep it real moist don't water it a lot because then the rooting hormone is going to be depleted after a certain amount of time. And you just wait for roots to grow. Uh, we didn't have a lot of success with that in the beginning. And researching a little bit more, we found out that for getting uh, roots on hardwood cuttings, it's a lot better to go with a higher percentage of growth hormone. So what we did was we bumped it up to this hormodin uh, rooting hormone which has a lot higher percentage of hormone in it and so what these are uh, all these sage cuttings from here over were used with the hormone in and these bitter brush cuttings from here over were used with the hormone in as well uh, we don't have as much success with the bitter brush as we do with the sage sage seems to be actually pretty easy to get roots off of uh, this was our first shot with the sage and it worked really well and you can see even this new growth on some of these plants that's starting to come up. Um, with bitter brush, it seems like it's a little bit harder, but I think we've got the method down. So originally we were taking the cuttings that we did and spraying them with a spray bottle just to try and keep them moist. And then once we got these misters put in the greenhouse uh, to raise the humidity up a little bit, we decided that it would be a really good use for cutting. So what we did was we built this misting tent and put it around the fresh cuttings and the mister would go off about every hour for about 15 seconds just to keep the plants really moist because that's a very important part of getting roots to grow and we've had a lot of success with this misting tent so in the future we're going to uh, just, keep, um, just keep popping out these cuttings of sage and bitter brush now that we have a pretty good idea of how to get them going. And all summer long, we'll just constantly be keeping these cuttings underneath the misting tent. And it seems to take about four months to get cuttings to go. And then we can take those cuttings with roots and put them directly into the field.